Your father discovered a path going down. Remember that graveyard that I said it was completely worthless? Well, there was a path going down. You get a nice amulet. And I was like, eh, I'll just keep going down here. Bet there is nothing all that important. I don't really need to come with butthole. And there really wasn't all that important. There is a piece of loot at the end of this chasm. And it is a shadow tree fragment. And also there was this fellow resting under the waterfall. Uh, he had seen better days. He fell asleep and got a concussion from all the water falling on his neck. Got his spine severed but it gives you the dry leaf set which is not something i'm interested in it's just cloth i am a man of armor and honor I'm not interested but then but then i was like oh i do have to come with butthole because there is this mausoleum and at the bottom of the mausoleum there is a fog wall and clearly I'm not going to go through the fog wall with a butthole present to get first-hand experience. So here's butthole. She's going to go down the stairs and she's going to face whatever lies behind. Of course, she doesn't go in all willy-nilly, no protections, nothing. She's going to go in with full-on Protection, black flame protection, butthole protection, anal protection. It is fully protected endeavor here. Might as well max out with the fapu. And in we go. I assume he's going to... Yep, yep. Another one of these. Raksasha. Rak Rakshasa. Another one of these. Oh. Oh. Oh, she just keeps going, huh? All right. Another one of these mausoleum fights. Oh, she actually gets hit by that. That's awesome. I've been hoping to, at some point, catch an enemy with that. So we're going to spam the crap out of it. Finally, I get to absolutely trepanate my enemies. Oh, you heal? So do I. Check this out. Amazing. Hey, uh, get impaled, bitch. Get absolutely lobotomized. Oh, that's so great. I love it. Mm, great moves. Check out this move, though. <laughs> Ow. Ah, yes, this pleases me greatly. How about back-to-back uh, -back spam? It works. It just works. 16 times the pain. Rakshasa. Oh, you're, you're coming at me, huh? Oops! Turns out that the remaining brain cell you had in your body, it is now obliterated. And, you know, you, yeah, you, that is a nice jump attack you got there. Holy crap, don't, don't get too cocky. Eat this one, bitch! <laughs> she even catches it from the jump attack. That is just dirty. That is dirty. There was a common saying. The the hitbox is OP as hell. It is super cheesy in PvP. <laughs> I believe it. But I, I like that armor set, though. Ooh, I can get behind this. Rakshasa. Greaves. Greaves of Rakshasa. Soaked the sporting... Soaked the spurting blood of her victims. Tatters of ragged cloth just jut out how fastly. As if her lust for carnage threatens to break free. This is a woman after my own heart. Increases damage dealt to foes. Oh. But greatly increases damage taken. <laughs> well, what kind of armor is this? That greatly increases damage taken. By the way, I also got one of these. A dry leaf seal. It gives you... It's just a seal. That improves... Uh, conjure golden rings of light, which I actually have equipped right now, so maybe I should improve it, put some points into it. I sh at the very least, I should check out Strength and Faith. It might give me some really good, some really good scaling. I think it's worth putting points into it. Um, what was I up to? Oh yeah, yeah, checking out the Raksha Rakshasa set. It says greatly increases damage taking. Cut down and devour. Only those who repeat the cycle without rest can truly subvert the self and become Rakshasa. Look, 
I would be remiss if I didn't try it out. Which she even gave me a freaking great katana. What does this is scale with? Dexterity, not not our not our jam. I will be remiss n at least not to put it on and see like how much damage am I gonna take really? Is it really that bad? Let's find out. And worst case scenario, I just get one shot and it's a point and, and we're like, well, I guess we're not using that armor set, huh? Uh, I'm done with that. Let's test it out, baby. Anyway, that's done. That's the tangent that I went into. Let's go back to the Cerulean Coast. You guys politely told me that I'm a bit of an idiot and I should have looked down the crater because there's a way down. Once more, I truly appreciate comments like that because I would have just dis shrugged, dismissed it, and moved on with my life. How did I not even consider that there's a path down? Am I, am I dumb? Sometimes I have troubles reconciliate, reconciliating the fact that I just don't consider some really obvious things. And then there'll be ins oh, monster. There'll be instances where I will actually figure out something that's kind of complex. It's like, am I maybe an idiot savant? That is awful. Lots of filth. Lots of filth all over the place. Very intimidating. Filthy cancerous growths. Not interested in interacting with them. You guys know my stance on blob enemies. The most boring, the most skippable, the most obnoxious. Not the most obnoxious. They're obnoxious from a creative standpoint. It's like, why? Why bother? I understand that there may be a lore reason for them. Anyway, I've gone at length about freaking blob enemies <laughs> in the Souls games. Miyazaki seems to have a big boner for blob enemies. Seems like some kind of unresolved childhood trauma. Lots of people dying here. Why? Why do people do? Are you jumping off the cliff? Yes, you are. Of course you are. <laughs> All right. Because, ah, I see. There's a passage and you don't just keep jumping down. You use the passage. Yeah, thank, thanks. Thanks, buddy. All right. Fine, I'll attack one blob. Of course, the damage is laughable. Because Miyazaki has an extra chuckle when he realizes... When he, he thinks about any, uh, the, his enemies, which is, you know, the players, realizing that they're not just blob enemies, they are resilient blob enemies. <laughs> How exciting. Right, well, at the very least, we've got a nice sight of grace. Always happy to see those. We are skipping the skippity tree blessings until we find something that is obnoxiously tough. I think I have enough power behind my back. That keeps going down, but that seems like an abyss. And this is starting to smell like a dungeon. Behold futility. All right, well. <laughs> is it futile? I'll be the judge of that, bitch. Because I am sure that there's something of value on the other end. Where are we even? Okay, we're actually at the bottom of this. Stone coffin figure. What was the point of the other side of grace? What was that? What was that? It just keeps going down. Holy crap, that is quite the descent. Did not expect something this deep. I guess this is the entire episode. Huh? I was like, oh, we'll get to the bottom of the crater and then uh, we'll, we'll keep on going with what we wanted to do, which was, you know, explore this entire section, which, like, we already did everything else, right? I, I'm pretty certain. I put a marker here. I don't remember what for. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think this is the one that was here to tell me to, hey, explore the Cerulean Coast. I'm pretty sure that we did all this. I don't know if we went to that island. Either way, this is where I wanted to keep going this episode. But hey, uh, I am very fond of just exploring a brand new open area. Give me some fun times exploration. Seems like there's, you can choose to go either way, huh? Oh, there's trolls. There's weird-ass trolls. Looks like you end up in the same spot. I guess I'll go down this way. We do not care about blobs. They are trash. Ah, the blobs do care about me, though. <laughs> we love to swallow my flesh. I feel like that was way more damage than a blob should do, but I'm wearing the the self-damaging armor 
so it's not great. I want to I want to go up there though. I must. Surely there is a path. There you are. You have to say trap ahead, be wary of up. Nah. Congeal putrescence, putrescence. <laughs> I love it. I love the language of Elden Ring. I love that I just put congealed putrescence in my pocket. Just this rotting pile of goo straight into my pocket. My magical saddlebags. Anyway, we are... Uh, I think it just connects, right? I can just jump into the weird arc. What did the game just call it? Did they call it tombs? You're just dying, dying horrendously. I feel like this armor set is doing a significant pile of damage, but let's see if I get one shot. But one of these fellows caving my skull in. Get wrecked, son. I mean, first they have to uh, get a chance, right? I'm gonna take a hit from you, bud. I mean, that's not crazy. That's We can withstand that for the price of doing a massive pile of damage, but he does seem to be an acolyte of Saint Trina trying to put me to sleep, the absolute bastard. All right. I accept it. Oh, we have come back to where we're at. What is the point of this silly, silly loop? The point was to just give you variety in the exploration. Don't complain. There was two paths to get here. You should be happy about that. All right. Get me through. Somehow I missed this piece of loot earlier. Saint Trina's arrow. Indeed, this is all related to Saint Trina. Whatever the hell that is supposed to mean. Fingers. High road ahead. Ah, yeah! You son of a whore. <laughs> uh, Alright. Be wary of left. Meh. I am never wary of anything. Uh, enemies should be wary of me. Hello. Oh, you even have shiny boy. Shiny eyeballs. Whoopla! Oh man, I missed. You absolute buffoon. Missed me completely. Should sure, probably. What? What did you just do? Oh man, they're they man, they man. Gigantic golden arc. Oh, not so gigantic. Oh, <laughs> they do a lot of damage because I am a masochist and I am equipped. With self-damaging armor. All right, how about you embrace madness? That is just laughable damage. I'll be honest. That, that is not good at all. Ow! But it's not supposed to be. I don't think it's supposed to be like the other one that we were using. Are you dead? You're not dead. Whoopla! Get wrecked. Oh, I thought for sure that I had enough reach. Eh. In a way, what I could do is take my Shadow Tree blessings, but then I could always be equipped with the Rex Shasa set, and I am giving myself maximum damage while also being able to tank the damage if I were to, like, power gain. But now, nah, let's just uh, stick with what we got. Right now, these enemies are fairly, fairly reasonable threats. Get butt plunged, you absolute buffoon. I would like to compare, though. Let me compare. Put ourselves... Give me a, a reasonable outfit. Alright, this is a very reasonable outfit. Let's see the damage that we do. Let's see if I can get a backstab and I can really compare the critical hit damage right here. Maybe I can sneak behind this fatso. Get him absolutely wrecked in the anus. Come over the way over here. Maybe uh, sneak my way through so that he may die a horrendous death. And compare the kind of damage that I see. <sighs> it really is not that big a difference, is it? What pathetic difference. You have some more. So! I missed, but it doesn't matter. The damage difference, really pathetic. But then again, am I really taking that much damage? I really like the look of it, so that is that makes my determination. I like the look of this Rex Sasha armor. It's a badass, bloody set. I am down with it. 
Maybe a different helmet though. Maybe one of these. I am the true one savage. I do I do like the other helmet. What kind of poise does it even have? I haven't even paid attention to that. 53 is pretty ass. I don't think we need the fire protection anymore though. Uh, maybe we should be getting some... One of those that protect you from sleep. Do I have one of those? Defense with higher equipment load. I know I, I'm carrying them. Did I really put them away like they are garbage? Yeah, the immunity, robustness. Resist to the last ailment suffered. I forget which one is which. There it is. Uh, when you hit G, you can get an explanation. Immunity. Poisons and rot. Robustness. Blood loss and frostbite. Focus. Madness. Vitality. Instant death. None of them protect against sleep, huh? <laughs> well, that makes it uh, an easy decision of never using it. Morp, morp. I guess we can just get a slept and then keep the ailment talisman on and that will do it. But whatever. It doesn't matter. All I want is not to have to use... Hmm. I guess we can do... We do use the... The weapon art quite a lot. So let's go with the Shard of Alexander. Or I can just raise my poison. Let's just raise my poison. Eh, what's... Stop thinking so hard about it. We can carry on down this path. I haven't even checked. Is there a horse? No horse. Hey, bud. You seem to be very excited to see me. How about to explode you? Oh, yeah. I really like that. I really like that weapon art. Even against enemies that don't get trepanated. It's still a good time. Get wrecked. Buffoon. Yupla! Get destroyed! It also creates a very nice recoil there, a Shadow Realm rule, amazing, amazing, yes, yes, runes are great. No real way up there, and another, another, Cross of Mikola. What do you have to say, though? Are you taken by the absolute beauty of this buffoon? Visions of ruin. <laughs> Kindly, Mikola, I see you've thrown away something you should not have under any circumstances. How will your salvation offer? To those who cannot be saved. When you could not even save your other self. Oh man, there's some kind of drama going on here with Saint Trina and Mikola. Open that up. You know there's gonna be some peace. I abandon here. My love. Just a giant dildo on the floor right there. A big fat dildo. Just all goopy and gross. Really used up. Mikola was into some really rancid things. Everything turned sexual suddenly. And the ring becomes some really lewd narrative. All about the whole necessary item, huh? Are you sure about that? I have my doubts. I mean, there is a path down. And we can always teleport back up. Another freaking dumbass bird that makes no threat whatsoever. All right, before we go down there, let me check. I'm pretty sure that there's no path anywhere there, but there may be a path down. Liar head. Well, he's not lying when he just died. There is no, no way down there, you idiots. What kind of moron even considers the possibility that there could be some way down that path when it's very clear? You're just supposed to slide down over here, Tony Hawk Pro, pro Skater sky, uh, style. Let me uh, make it all the way to the bottom. Get to that gate that we saw from the top. Well, this is definitely not the path, huh? Whoa, <laughs> turn back, tarnished, for there is nothing for you here. This is the path. Hello. What you got to say? House, but no door ahead. Well, I kind of missed out on that entire thing, didn't I? I may have to teleport back up. Uh, we'll see if there's no path. 
to communicate with it. Blob? Yup. <laughs> Velvet Sword of Saint Trina. Super. Looks like a rapier though. Rapiers are for pansies. For honorless swine. It's what rapiers are for. Rapiers are ass. Nectar Virgin. Great stuff. That reminds me. I misread the big fat eternal sleep pots. I can make like a million of them. I don't know why did I think that I couldn't. I must be maybe an idiot. Let me put them on there and let me not forget to test them out. Oh really, we got these weird ass towers of rocks. Wonder if they will be immediately aggressive when I get close. Nope, they're just idiots. Just staring into nothingness, guarding nothing, serving no purpose whatsoever. What is your dealio? <laughs> what are you looking at? You're making me nervous. Die. Die. A terrible death. Your sin was confusing me. When things confuse me, I turn violent. Alright. Carrying on. Another bird. Hussah! Get wrecked. Yeah, we want to go up there. I think there's a path, so we don't have to go back up. Lots of people dying here. It doesn't seem all that uh, great. Dude. Maybe these birds are, you know... They, they're kind of glass cannons. I think I've already said that. How they're very easy to kill, but if they catch you and combo you, they will absolutely destroy you super fast. They do a lot of damage with fast-paced pecking of your forehead. Give you a massive lobotomy. Explode. Oh. Of all things, man, this is the so... This creature is just a disturbing... A disturbing life form. What is going on in the anatomy of this thing? What is happening all over here? Who comes up with balls with an eyeball at the top? And it's kind of alive, but not really. It's just live rocks. And they guard tombs. Sometimes. <laughs> it's like... That is the, the genius of Miyazaki. Always coming up with absolutely deranged designs that they don't have to be there you could go all of Elden Ring without ever seeing in the sense of you know you don't need this enemy in the game they serve like literally no purpose right? <laughs> like, in the sense like they're not any kind of threat they're not an iconic kind of thing they have no lore of interest that I can think of. It's not like I've gone out of my way. This sentry scum scumbag, though, sure is loving to shoot me full of lasers. You piece of trash. Stop it. I hate you. They are definitely succeeding. I'm filling me with rage. Ah! You can stop now. I'm gonna blow up all your friends just out of spite. PCS rune harvest of my life. Ah! Feel like the Rakshasa set is setting me back quite a bit. Whatever. Now I reach that spot so I can teach this creature a lesson. Trying to disrespect the Elden Lord. Truly pathetic efforts. Hello. Ah, yes, very impressive. Stop it. Get help! Get obliterated, son. You heal. Am I about to teach you a lesson, you piece of trash? You are... You're shooting into the rock, you idiot. Are you a stupid? Let me wreck you. Please, get me out of this place. Get me somewhere interesting. 
I guess I can just go forward here. Am I supposed to go down? Am I supposed to go up? We're going everywhere. Ah, that keeps going down. Lots of people dying. What is going on, man? Why are people dying too? Maybe some kind of monster comes out of there. More lasers! Impressive. Right, check out my sword. Destroy you. Okay, but we can actually go down there, but that's a dead end. I've seen, uh, you know, a point of no return. Not a dead end. So let's go back. Go down the other way. Some of them are sentry towers. Some others are just completely passive. Doing their warm thing. Is that deadly? It's not deadly, right? Nah. Okay, buddies. Why are you guys dying to? What is going on with you? Are you just jumping onto the floor? You're just dying to random hazards. Okay. They are all fighting. They are doing stuff. Oh, this just goes all the way back up. Oh, pfft. This is just people dying. That's where I came from. That's just idiots dying to the lasers. <laughs> just didn't connect that that's where I came from. Yeah, yeah, that entire region. I already explored it. So, yeah, we want to go this path. This path. Continuing down. What a, what a long trek. Into the unknown. Oh, hey, another side of grace. That was very short-lived. I thought that this would be far longer. Get me down there. Activate. Another checkpoint. I am super curious right now. Where are we? Like, deep, deep underground. Time for joy. You don't want to rest, but I think I will take it. I'll be happy to do it. This helmet, though, this helmet is stressing me out. I don't want to be a horned buffoon. Oh, uh, one of these. We do have... It would be so great to be able to have Madness Head. A ball of yellow flame for a head. That would be so great. I would love it. Let's see. Eh, just go with that Rakshasa helmet. Just fully commit to the bit. What are you dying to? Just jump into the abyss, right? Being impatient. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, good job. You sure showed that ledge who's boss. All right, we carry on. It just keeps going down. Are we about to have another interaction with madness? Where there's two clear paths. Eh, hey, what the? Who? You be. Oh, Skeletor! Oh! These are some bleached clean skeletons. Do you come back to life? Of course you do. All those who live in death are restless as hell. They never just stay down. Very annoying. It is time to change, though. When we find. Those who live in death. We swap. Ah, yes. Another victim. Ouch. We swap. I like this sword. I am quite the fan of this sword. I also like the uh, Fire Knight's Flame Arch sword. It's very, very nice. I really like it. But when these guys show up, it's time for the Sacred Black Stick Grey Armor. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, let's see what's down here. I went through there. I, I just got interrupted, you see. That looks survivable. Definitely survivable if you, if you go through here. Uh, but that's definitely a point of no return. Let me go up this way, hopefully. Uh, it's just a dead end that you get a piece of loot from and that's it. Dung! First off, fire. It is dung. Gross. <laughs> that was this disgusting monstrosity. What the? Buddy, it is time for you to join the Flame of Frenzy. Get roasted, bitch. Actually, that is very pathetic damage. I am very ashamed <laughs> of the damage that this puts out. It is uh, quite shameful. Pathetic, honestly. Anyway, how about the Frenzy Burst? Does this do anything at all? Yeah, that was... That's just ass. 
Give me a fl a flame weapon will be optimal. He does damage though. He's uh, quite the hardy individual. Blunt weapons is where it's at for creatures like this though. It's all right. We just gotta spam a few attacks. We'll be fine. You actually can't. Staggered. Got your flesh all discombobulated like. And you drop congealed putrescence. <laughs> Put more nasty goop inside my pockets, please. I love it. Did I just go in a circle? I sure did. <laughs> but there was another path, right? Up this way. I did not go in a circle. I did go I did go in a circle. Oh a freaking Leonine. Can we put him to sleep? <laughs> I'll appreciate that. Here, catch one of these, bitch. Uh oh. Sleep? Sleep now? <laughs> oh, he does get a little sleep. Does he? It's hard to say. Anyway. Yep, yep. Exploding holy power. Damn. Anyway, he does stagger pretty easily. So we can just murder the crap out of him. Multi-layered ring of light. I really need to convert to holy damage. Forget all this madness nonsense. It is just not good. The damage on that Mitra attack is pretty ass. Yep. Don't worry, I have not forgotten. There is another path. Going all the way down. I want to go up first, though. What did that Leonine spirit guard? Ever so curious. What you got over here, buddy? Another virgin? Ne Nectar blood virgin? Oh, another side of grace. Man, it's so generous the side of grace is kind of silly, honestly. Too many damn checkpoints. Uh, but it does mean I can just come back. This, what? Okay. Very eerie. Are these... Are these a herd of demonic worship creatures? Am I about to be sacrificed to Satan? I would not be surprised. Alright, well. Uh, let me just do the violence against them. They're all alive. Well. We got dinner on, on the menu. Absolutely delicious. Veal. Chicken, owl, and beef. Not to mention roadkill. What, do you think I'm not going to take the time to kill each and every one of, of these animals? You just don't know me. <laughs> you don't know who you're dealing with. And I'm going to swing my hammer, club the skull of each and every one of these animals. Because they creep me out. This is a satanic worship cult, and I do, not, I do not tolerate it. They're not asleep, they're deep in a worshiping trance of the devil. So it is very important to call it absolutely annihilated as soon as you encounter it. Okay, thankful, thankful for all this pile of bones that I have gathered. Oh yeah, we summon, we have a summoning pool. This stinks. Offer healing, therefore praise the message. Whatever. Whatever. You have no idea what you're talking about. Help me, in short, praise the message. I, I'm just kind of smelling... Smelling a boss fight here. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't seem to be. What you have to say? Oh, please grant me the courage to fly to your feet, my dearest Saint Trina. Meh. Offer death. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I will. I will. I absolutely will. Not yet, though. Let's go to Fisher Waypoint. And then drop for the other path. But uh, let me uh, put a reminder right there. Because I am willing to... Give my life to the abyss. There was some skeletons this way. I forget where it was. This way. There you are. 
What's the deal? There was like three skeletons and, there's no and then nothing. Maybe all the skeletons are all the way down here. Mass putrescence. Very cool, very cool. That's the kind of uh, spells that I can get behind. Oh, yep, yep. These... <laughs> blobs. Freaking blobs! Get out of here! Get me, get, let me get a, the actual enemy that I need to face. Hey, I see that you guys got a firebomb party. Let me show you my own firebomb. Right up your asshole. Get destroyed. Oh, man. They, it was all a two-stage trap. Piles of trash. They were all ready to jump to offer up their buddies. They were the sacrifices. Ah, yes. Great job, idiot. Oh, no. Blah! Oh, right. Well, that was entirely pointless. <laughs> what was the purpose of that, bud? What was the pur purpose of that? Let me swap to holy spells. I want to do that. Even with S scaling in faith, it will not reach the 300 that, uh, what was the one that gives me, this one gives me 313, a regular ass earth tree seal. It just it cannot be beaten, it cannot be beaten, but I am going to wield those rings of light, so the plus 20% that probably gives me should make it worth it. It's the God Slayer seal that gives the absolute most scaling. But uh, let's go with this one. See how it works. <laughs> the satanic cult is back. Absolutely disturbing. I just realized that with this sword, the drip is out of control. Look at this absolute mad lad of a warrior. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Loving this set. And the damage you take is really not that much higher. It's definitely higher, but not that big of a deal. I give my life unto the abyss. And so I embrace St. Trina's blessing. I climb upon this head. And to the depths I climb. Actually, looks like there's a path that maybe I can follow. YOLO! That's amazing. <laughs> That's just silly. <laughs> no big deal. Just jump down. What is even the problem? Where the hell am I? And there is an ally you can summon here. Where are you? Who even are you? I've seen you before. I forget your name. Oh, this is Thiolier, isn't it? For lore purposes, we always summon them. We'll see what they have to say. Hopefully it won't be a trivial boss that allows me to just murder it. Are you going to say something? Or are you just going to fight? Well, must be some kind of St. Trina related nonsense, right? Well, uh, we, we engage. We engage in good faith. I have memorized some rings of light and all kinds of nonsense. Give me that flame, black flame protection. And you know, if it, if we're killing one try with help, so be it. Not that big a deal. Oh, what in the what? <laughs> what is happening here? What is this monster? Putrescent Knight. I feel like... What even are you, though? I feel like... Um, what am I saying? Oh man, he even gets staggered so easily. What the hell? The damage on this thing, the holy damage, would probably be great. Surely there will be a second phase, right? Amazing design, I'm loving it. Like, this is some out of left field nonsense. What the? Uh, the health total on this thing, though, not the most impressive. Here, let me just jump right over your flames. 
Impressive. Now it's my turn, bitch. You have a second face. What? Oh, yeah, you're supposed to be here much earlier, right? Well, that was easy. <laughs> it took barely a few hits. That was pretty pathetic. I am over-leveled. Like, I've uh, had a lot of uh, skibbity tree blessings. And you're supposed to reach this area way, way earlier. You're, I get, like, there's no guiding posts, okay? I just happened to go north first. But you're supposed to go down uh, south first. And this is a much more balanced challenge when you reach this area. If you go down south first. So, do we get this fellow? After we had him help? Or he has nothing to say? Quite a disappointment. But it seems like the air, we're not done. You know, he just keeps going. Uh, where's the where's the side of grace? Garden of Deep Purple. There it is. <laughs> I was like, where, where, where did the passage go? What is going on over here? What do you have to say? Elden Ring. Very eloquent. Very nice. Set this ex ahead. Did not expect clue. All right. I don't really care about what you guys have to say. What velvety ambrosia is this? Your poison and the sweet sleep that follows. Oh, please. We're dealing with a drug addict, aren't we? Oh, that is that a person? Or is that a flower? What's up, bud? Good job with the boss. That was a real challenge. Thank you for your help. Yes, I quote helped. We are indeed dealing with a drug addict. This guy's a junkie. I will hear her voice. Let me be. I won't be long. Can I give you your own poison? Oh, you mustn't follow my example. I do what I please. Saint Trina's poison would plunge you into an eternal slumber. You're not the boss of me. It must be me. And only me. Now I'm doing it out of spite. I am gone so that I may hear Saint Trina's lost voice. Let me be. I won't be. How about I continue disturbing you and you never fall asleep? Okay, so what is the deal here? Are you a person? Are you a flower? You can talk. Is this actual Saint Trina? Very cool, disturbing model. You cannot tell whether it's an actual flower or what. What is this? Saint Trina's Disciple Cookbook. It's an expense crafting repertoire. But it doesn't tell you exactly what it does, huh? I mean, it just allows you to craft that weird-ass poison that he sold. So that way you're able to use it here. A lot of people die in there. Probably is where everybody <laughs> takes the poison. And maybe you go into this horrible nightmare and you fight the real boss. Is that what it is like? Could this be a lover? Let there be love. What? Oh, you don't even let me figure out for my own. You... Actually, simply give me the option to imbibe the nectar. Let me uh, click on one of these. They all imbibe the nectar. <laughs> the nectar over there. <laughs> Absolute buffoons. Idiots. Pile of morons. Anyway, in the next episode, we will commit suicide.